Hi, my name is Ramona Hernandez, and I decided to add a product, water flavor coffee, to an existing product line at Dunkin'. I chose this industry because I am a Dunkin' girl, and I've been drinking Dunkin' Donuts coffee for some years now, and actually a very, 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 I drink coffee I've been drinking coffee for over 20 years now, so I haven't been told that I have to eliminate drinking coffee. However, if I um, am told that I could still have and drink more water, I could still have quenched the coffee taste um, and have a healthy benefit to it. So if it's water flavored coffee that, that provides a healthy benefit, then I would most definitely... Um, partake in that product line. So I chose Duncan because it's been in the industry for over 50 years and they've been able to sustain themselves with new branding, with um, new different innovations. So I think that they would, this, this company will be uh, able to receive that product line. Um, the product line life cycles, since we're bringing this new product um, in an existing product line, and due to Duncan having their established brand for over 50 years, we would know that the depending on the market will determine the continued growth. Um, at this time, there is no, um, the competitors do not have this product line. So we will see how it weighs out. As far as the product's characteristics, um, of course, the product will be labeled with Duncan branding. Um, also, that it would be in a 16.9 fluid ounce bottle, caffeine free, um, and natural spring water color. Coffee flavoring will be the rock, the the rock because bean. Excuse me. Um, but as far as positioning of the product line, we began to position the new product will create an awareness and with the consumers and that Duncan has now established this new product in their product line, watered flavored, flavored coffee to give you that same coffee taste, but with the healthy component added to it. Um, we're gonna position the pricing for the product at $1.39 in the market. Um, I, we probably will, because it's a new product being introduced in the market, we will most definitely have to evaluate the sales and profit quarterly to see if the trend is profitable, the sales are profitable, and if there's any needs uh, for adjustments to be made so that either whatever this decision is, because it's a new product line, how to understand what the trend is um, in this, this in allowing this new product to come in the market to make sure that one, it, it, it have the integrity, it keeps the integrity of the branding for Duncan as well as being profitable and there is no, no, no loss in, in the profits or sales. Um, as far as the placing and channel management goes, first the product will be um, placed in local franchises at Duncan. Um, preferably where Duncan uh, franchises have high sales or profits, um, have a well-established consumer base, um, and will be able to gain the awareness that's needed for the new product um, that's coming online at Duncan. Um, and then uh, as things progress and grow, then we, we're looking to, to uh, have this product with wholesale distributors as well. As far as the promotion and communications, we're looking to advertise with TV commercials, all promos with TV commercials, um, targeting um, already consumer-based emails or mobile applications to engage the customer awareness that Duncan now has this new product line um, that's been brought on that the goal is to create healthy awareness with still having a coffee type quench in your in your thirst and um, 
as far as the promotions, um, we could do like free taste, free te test tastings to see how well the product is received with um, consumers, um, as well as um, once the product line establish a base um, or just start to uh, sell the product or get points for a mobile app, whoever purchases a product, uh, points when you get to a certain point level, then you get a free product. Um, as far as the publicity goes, we're going to use like digital social media outlets um, to gain customer awareness, any promos or publicity that can be done locally at the franchise to engage um, customer awareness is going to be very critical and key with putting this new product line in the market as well establishing the awareness necessary to be sustainable in the market as far as the promotion sales force goes due to this product being a, added to an existing uh, product line i will be operating as an operational um, director overseeing the product line with uh, respect to sales and profits and just to kind of uh, establish an on, um, a ongoing uh, review of how well this product is doing in the market um, and being received. So if there's going to be required surveys, um, consumers to see exactly what's the standing of the product in the market. The goal is to have um, a consumer base um, that engage in the product line of water flavored coffee with a healthy component add to, added to it where it's okay to still have the coffee taste, but it's also creating awareness and a healthy component awareness with it as well. So hopefully it'll be a win-win situation with the Dunkin' industry, as well as just, just creating profitable sales um, sales and, 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 and profits um, for this new product line that will be established in the Dunkin' industry. Um, this concludes my presentation. And it was a learning experience um, with this adding an existing product line to Dunkin' Water Flavored Coffee. Um, I think it will do well, but I shall see. Thank you.